What's up, Nation? No here, back again, and as requested by you guys, I wasn't going to make this video, but you guys just seem to really like the fantasy booking men's Royal Rumble matchup for 2024. Not just that video, but in the comments across several videos requesting I do a fantasy booking of the women's Royal Rumble matchup as well. So I'm giving it to you guys today, my fantasy booking of the 2024 women's Royal Rumble match. Now, full disclaimer, once more, this video, just as the previous one did, is tying into my next video on the channel, which is Fantasy Booking WrestleMania 40. So, some things here that happened in this video and happened in the last video, you might be questioning, you might be asking yourself, why did he do this? Why is he having this winner? It all ties into the Ultimate WrestleMania 40 video, which was going to be the next video, but then I threw this one in between. But now, it's truly the next video on the channel. And also, just as I did in the last video, I explained what undercard matches I would have to kind of let you guys in on what uh what got what names were going to be left out of the royal rumble matchup and obviously there's only going to be so much on the rumble card and i don't really see both championships of the women's division being defended especially because rhea ripley i mean she's going through ivy nile on raw this coming monday and then like she doesn't really have a set feud right now which is fine because we're getting into wrestlemania season we'll worry about it when we you know really time to get into the push for mania but as for the rumble i'm just going to go ahead and say this is just my little more fantasy booking if you will eo sky defending her title against shotzi she's defending it against uh me chin this coming friday new year's revolution next friday i should say uh new year's revolution smackdown which i think is gonna be a real good matchup excited eo sky i do expect to retain her championship and shotzi is just another name who she hasn't beaten yet and has been you know on that baby face side fighting damage control and, and you know putting shotzi in there leave some of the big names like a bianca blair to be in the royal rumble matchup opposed to just another championship match so my fantasy booking of the undercard for the women's division at uh the royal rumble eo sky versus shotzi for the WWE women's championship with eo sky retaining and rhea ripley doesn't really need to be on the card she can just accompany the judgment day guys out to the ring for the rumble matchup or if they're in uh you know other undercard matches but that's kind of what i would do for the undercard of the rumble and after that there's really no more disclaimers to get into so let's just jump over to the nice pretty graphic that we did once more for this women's rumble and let's get into my fantasy booking of the 2024 women's royal rumble match Alrighty, so let's get into fantasy booking the 2024 Women's Royal Rumble match. As I already stated in the intro, I would have Io Sky defending her WWE Women's Championship earlier on this show against Shotzi, which takes those two women out of this matchup. Of course, Rhea Ripley not going to be in as well. But besides those three, you're basically wide open between Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, and anybody else who may show up in this matchup so definitely some options to uh throw in the rumble matchup and i uh, did my best to have some fun here and, and i don't know if i mentioned this in the intro uh because i'm filming this part first so you know out of order because i'm a professional around here I, I think if you've been watching my videos recently and you're familiar with the channel if you're not then this may mean nothing to you but if you are familiar with the channel i think how i book this rumble and who i have winning may surprise you but again it all has to do with the now truly the next video because this woman's run uh this woman's uh fantasy booking wasn't in the in the cards i just decided to do it after so many people asked for it and the success of the men's video but truly the next video will be my fantasy booking wrestlemania 40 and just like the men's rumble this woman's rumble will tie directly in to that video so i kind of had to base around what i'm doing in this rumble in to wrestlemania 40 and uh what i would have on that show so just a full disclaimer and uh let's just not waste any more time let's get into it Alrighty, so kicking off the women's royal rumble matchup we're going to start it off hot at number one former women's rumble match winner bianca belair from friday night smackdown and at number two monday night raw superstar raquel rodriguez bianca obviously a top star in the women's division raquel somebody who i do think will have a big 2024 and will be on display in a big way in the women's royal rumble matchup in uh in real life and also in this fantasy booking so bianca and raquel just a nice one-two punch to start off this matchup always like a good one and two uh you know different brands colliding it was one of my favorite things growing up as a kid is when you get a raw guy versus smackdown guy in the uh in the opening moments of the Rumble. It's just something cool to look forward to every year. So we're going to get Bianca and Raquel starting off this matchup. At number three, 
we will have one half of the former women's tag team champions, Chelsea Green, coming back in the Rumble just like she did last year and uh, looking to uh, have a better showing. Of course, she came in and went right out last year, so Chelsea Green going to be uh, pretty hesitant to get in the ring at entry number three, especially when Bianca and Raquel, basically fresh as daisies, are sitting there waiting for her. So Green, not interested in getting in the ring. Chelsea's just going to wait at ringside while Bianca and Raquel battle inside the ring. At number four, also from Monday Night Raw, we have Zoe Stark, somebody who I do think will have a uh, pretty solid 2024 as well. At number five, we will have Tegan Knox, also from Monday Night Raw. Um, you, got, you can have Tegan Knox and Zoe Stark mixing it up after their uh, recent. I'm saying recent because you know in the past tense in the Rumble, but this coming Monday Night Raw. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe we have Tegan Knox and Natalia versus Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler signed for that show. So two of the uh, teams in the tag team women's division uh, going to be mixing it up. And th there's a lot of teams in this matchup, which was uh, interesting to work with when fantasy booking this thing. But you can have Tegan Knox and Zoe Stark uh, mix it up in there, have some uh, good exchanges. At number six, we have Nikki Cross, who... Uh, When's the last time she was on television? But she, I mean, she's been stalking people. You know, people have seen her in the background of Becky Lynch walking to the ring, of Seth Rollins walking to the ring. I don't know if there's any correlation there or just pure coincidence, but remains to be seen. Uh, Nikki Cross in at number six. Nikki going to run down to, or I should say run down the aisle. But right before she gets into the ring, she's going to notice Chelsea Green at ringside. And Nikki Cross not going to let that slide. Uh, Cross going to chase Chelsea Green around the ring. Green's going to run in the ring and uh, in one way and out the other uh, and obviously going underneath the bottom rope, not eliminating herself. Uh, but while Nikki Cross is uh, chasing after her, she gets in the ring and she is stopped by a shot uh, by Zoe Stark and Nikki Cross kind of gets into the tangle with the rest of the women there and uh, actually has a moment of shine. Nikki Cross is like kind of low key ruling the ring for a moment. Until number seven uh, interrupts, and that would be Piper Niven, Chelsea Green's tag team partner. So now that Chelsea's got her tag team partner, she's a little bit more willing to get into the ring. So Chelsea and Niven get to get in the ring, and they target, of course, Nikki Cross. Piper Niven will eliminate Nikki Cross, making her the first casualty of the Women's Royal Rumble match. At number eight. We have Zelina Vega from Friday Night SmackDown finally getting some more SmackDown blood in this matchup. I believe she just signed a uh, fat new contract as well. Well, I don't know how fat it is, but it's a multi-year thing. The, the, the day I'm filming this, that was uh, uh, posted all over social media. So good for good for Zelina Vega. You know, I hope she has a good uh, 2024 as well. Somebody who I'd like to see elevate a little bit more in the women's division next year. You know, barring the spot is open and whatnot. But Zelina Vega at number eight. Gonna mix it up with the rest of the women in there. Got a good, got a good talent pool in there right now. Um, at number nine, we're gonna get the returning Trish Stratus. You know, Trish, we have not seen her since Payback, and uh, that was pretty much you know obvious. You know, ever since she concluded her feud with Becky Lynch, there was really no reason for her to hang around after that. But you know, Trish is technically still on the Monday Night Raw roster. You know, you go on WWE.com, there you go, she's there, and there's no reason why Trish couldn't, you know, make an appearance in the Royal Rumble matchup, so why not? It's not knocking anybody's socks off, it's not as shocking as it once was, but hey, you know what, why not? Let's get Trish in the Royal Rumble matchup, making, a, making an appearance here, not saying it's going to kick off a whole run, but just in the Rumble match, so Trish Stratus in at number nine, and Trish going to get in there. She's going to try to team up with Zoe Stark, you know, rekindle that partnership from last summer. But obviously, Zoe Stark uh, ain't having none of it. She did not forget how the uh, the partnership between her and Trish ended. So Zoe Stark going to hit Trish with a Z360, and Trish is just going to roll right out of the ring under the bottom rope, of course. So Trish Stratus is not eliminated, but uh, is, is a part of the Royal Rumble matchup nonetheless. Uh, what do we got next? At number 10, we have Natalia. So Natalia going to join her tag team partner, Tegan Knox in this matchup. They're going to target Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Again, a lot of teams in the Rumble matchup. Whether you want to call them full-time teams or, you know, loose alliances or, or, or what, you know, you, you take your pick. But, you know, Chelsea Green, Piper, Natalia and Tegan. Uh, the, the person coming out next and Zoe Stark uh, and, and more to come. A lot of uh, tandems in the Rumble matchup this year. Shayna Baszler in at number 11 and Baszler and Zoe Stark at a square off with Natalia and Tegan Knox. Natalia and Tegan Knox, however, kind of get the best of that exchange. 
However, backs are turned. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven going to come from behind. And they will eliminate both Natalia and Tegan Knox from the matchup. So Natalia and Knox hit in the showers by courtesy of Chelsea and Piper in the Royal Rumble matchup. Business going to pick up at number 12, if it hasn't already. We're going to have uh, the first damage control member in this match. Kyrie Sane back in the Royal Rumble matchup. Really looking forward to seeing uh, Kyrie do more in 2024. Just, just still happy that she's back in WWE. One of the best that they've had uh, in the entire you know Raw, SmackDown, NXT, just overall women's division in years. You know when she was there. So happy Kyrie's back. Happy to see her back in the Royal Rumble come next month. Uh, you know, assuming, but there's no reason why she wouldn't be in there. So Kyrie Sane in at number 12. Personally, you know, this is nothing. You know. Ex extravagant here, but I would just love to see a confrontation between her and Shayna Baszler, which as you can see, I have Baszler and Kyrie in the ring at the same time. They have a ton of history from NXT, some great matches back in the black and gold brand, so Kyrie and Shayna mixing it up again would be nice to see. And then of course, Bianca is also in the ring at that time, so Bianca and Kyrie, with all their history, gonna mix it up in the Rumble as well. And then we move on to number 13, which is Monday Night Raw's Alpha Academy's Maxine Dupree in her first Royal Rumble matchup. First, right? She wasn't in last year's. So I don't think she was. She wasn't even wrestling at last point uh, or at this point last year. Uh, but Maxine Dupree in at number 13. She's going to come in a house of fire because why wouldn't she, man? She's all fired up. First Royal Rumble. She's got that Alpha Academy training behind her. Maxine Dupree going to come in house of fire, knocking down this woman, knocking down that woman, teasing an elimination here and there. You know, she's fired up. She's going to kind of low key again, rule the ring for a second. Maxine Dupree going to hit the crowd with a big a thank you. And then she gets dropped by a Kyrie Sane back fist. And uh, if you want to add insult to injury, Kyrie can hit her with the elbow. Uh, not that you need to. Just a back fist just to knock her out. And Kyrie eliminates uh, Maxine Dupree. Not going to have a big presence. Uh, or I should say a long presence in the Rumble. But while she's in there, she's going to uh, make some noise. Got to have some quick eliminations. Uh, Maxine, Maxine Dupree. Uh, it, although I like her, it has nothing to do with her. I just She just kind of fits that role this year, doesn't she? So uh, Kyrie Sane to eliminate Maxine Dupree. At number 14, we have NXT's Tiffany Stratton, somebody who I do think will be on the main roster. If not right after WrestleMania, definitely by year's end for 2024. Uh, she is just, she just fits in the mold of like a Dominic Mysterio and a Logan Paul, just freaking born and bred for the wrestling business. Uh, Tiffany Stratton's great. So uh, Stratton in at number 14. Tiffany Stratton going to come in, get an elimination. She will eliminate Zelina Vega from the Royal Rumble matchup. Uh, Tiffany Stratton going to run into Zoe Starks after that. And Stratton's kind of like, all right, you know, Zoe Stark, kind of a tough SOB. I kind of don't want any of those parts. But Zoe's got her eyes locked on Tiffany Stratton. She's like, you're in the Rumble. Let's freaking go. Zoe going to start backing Tiffany up into a corner. All the while, Trish Stratus still in the match, of course, comes from behind and attacks Zoe Stark while she wasn't looking. Stratus going to hit Zoe with the Stratus faction. And then Tiffany Stratton hits Zoe with the prettiest moonsault ever. A loose alliance is formed and Trish Stratus eliminates Zoe Stark. So Zoe Stark out of the matchup, courtesy of her former mentor in Trish Stratus. And Trish and Tiffany kind of standing tall with their loose alliance after taking care of Zoe Stark. But that is going to be short-lived because coming out at number 15 will be the man, Becky Lynch, who of course has history with both of these women, Trish Stratus and Tiffany Stratton. Uh, Becky and Trish, or I should say Becky and Tiffany, had a hell of a matchup back in uh, at No Mercy a couple of months ago in NXT. So Becky obviously outnumbered in this situation, but going to fight it head-on. Goes face-to-face -face with Trish, face-to-face -face with Tiffany. Raquel Rodriguez going to come stand side-by-side -side with Becky. And Trish, she's a little familiar with, Ra with Raquel because she barely survived a fight with Raquel dating back to last summer, which was a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. So Raquel going to stand side-by-side -side with Becky there. And the fight begins against Trish and uh, Tiffany. Becky uh, Lynch, excuse me, Becky Lynch going to eliminate Trish Stratus from the Royal Rumble matchup. Trish not really there to make a huge impact, but uh, definitely reigniting some uh, some old rivalries in the midst of the Rumble. And Becky once more going to get the comeuppance over Trish. So Becky eliminates Trish. And then the two women, meaning uh, Becky and Raquel, 
Target, Chelsea Green, and Piper Niven. And Raquel going to get some huge shine here as she eliminates both Chelsea Green and Piper Niven from the Royal Rumble matchup. So a lot of chaos there. Becky coming in, taking care of Trish. Raquel taking care of Chelsea and Piper. And number 16, we have Zia Lee, who of course uh, has had some issues with Becky Lynch over the last few months, so they can tangle a little bit. Ring's going to start filling up, however. We have Zia Lee at number 16, Alba Fire at number 17, Ivy Nile at number 18, who will be fighting Rhea for the championship this Monday on a day one Raw. Uh, Isla Dawn at number 19. Uh, so there's, we got some bodies in the ring. Who's going to come clear house? Because I know that's what you're all thinking. And it's kind of just her role. Nia Jax in at number 20. Nia is going to come in there and start cleaning some house in the Rumble. Nia Jax eliminates Alba Fire, Isla Dawn, Ivy Nile, and Shayna Baszler, who she's had some uh, you know issues with as well in recent months. Nia Jax then going to come face to face with Becky Lynch, and you know the fight begins from there. We'll see how that matchup goes. Also this Monday night on Raw. After that, we have we are now in the final ten in the women's. Royal Rumble matchup. But you know what? Let me set the stage real quick. I know it's on your screen, but just to read it aloud, we have Bia Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, uh, Kyrie Sane, Tiffany Stratton, Becky Lynch, and Nia Jax, and Zia Lee, excuse me, still in the Rumble match at that point. At number 21, we have the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, joining the Rumble matchup. And also, of course, more importantly, joining uh, Kyrie Sane of Damage Control, the Kabuki Warriors, just another one of the tag teams that make their way into the Rumble. Uh, we're going to get Mi Chin in at number 22, which I'm very much looking forward to her and Io Sky's match at uh, New Year's Revolution next Friday. I think that's going to be great. Uh, but Nia Jax still pretty much uh, dominating the ring at this point. Nia's going to come face-to-face -face with Raquel Rodriguez, you know, two powerhouses. And again history with each other the rumble match is a time to uh reignite some history have some callbacks to some old feuds and uh and all that stuff so Raquel gonna throw some hands at that point with Nia Jax and Raquel being one of the powerhouses of the match gonna try to hoist Nia up in the air for you know fill in the blank body slam I, I don't expect her to go for a whole uh what is that what the hell is it called Tahana bomb where even though I think she has hit but like off the ropes or something not like a full on one um, but obviously struggles to do so. Nia going to lay out Raquel. And still, even though Asuka's joined the match, Meechin's joined the match, bodies are coming left and right. Nia Jax still kind of dominating ever since she's been in at 20. And now she just laid out Raquel Rodriguez, one of uh, low-key, the you know, dark horse favorites, if you will. You know, if you're thinking, uh, you know, real ahead here. Nia's ruling the ring. Who's coming out at number 23? That's going to be the return of Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan and Raquel, of course, former women's tag team champions. Liv going to come in, go right after Nia Jax. Raquel's going to get back uh, back in the fight, I should say, right then and there. Liv and Raquel going to team up and eliminate Nia Jax from the matchup. So Liv Morgan, of course, going to come in a house of fire. Her and Raquel going to team up and take care of the biggest target in this matchup, that being Nia Jax. I'm sure we'll get a little moment there as well. Liv Morgan also going to eliminate uh, Tiffany Stratton from this matchup. So just continuing to uh, really clear house a little bit is the returning Liv. And definitely a favorite to win the women's Rumble match. At number 24, in comes another favorite. A lot of heavy hitters coming out in the last few entries. We have the final member of Damage Control to enter this match. That being Bailey. Bailey, of course, going to team up with their damage control members. Bailey's going to eliminate Mi Chin. Also, simultaneously, Asuka going to get an elimination as she sends out Zaya Lee. The damage control takeover begins. Nia Jax, the big heel on her own, had her shine. Now the big group in damage control going to have their shine in the Rumble and start uh, clearing house a little bit. Bailey again, eliminates Mi Chin. Asuka eliminates Zaya Lee. And of course, I don't know if I've said this, but <laughs> Bailey, another favorite to win the Rumble. Number 25, we have Candice LeRae. Number 26, we have one half of the new women's tag team champions, that being Katana Chance. And at number 27, making her, making her excuse me, <laughs> WWE debut, Jade Cargill. I do believe we do see Jade Cargill in the Women's Royal Rumble matchup. I think it just makes the most sense. Even if she's not going to go and get a full-on call-up after that, 
I do expect Jay to be a part of the Rumble, even if she goes uh, and becomes part of NXT after that, or comes up to the main roster, or really doesn't do either for a little bit, maybe, you know, doesn't really join the main roster or NXT till after Mania weekend, whatever it's going to be, I do expect Jade to be in the Royal Rumble matchup, so Jade Cargill making her WWE debut at entrance number 27. Obviously, Jade going to bring a big presence to this matchup. A lot of the action is going to foco uh, focus around her at that point. Jade going to get in there, lay out several bodies, just decking everybody. And then we're going to get a big confrontation. Jade going to come toe-to-toe with the woman who has been in since number one, the EST, Bianca Belair. Jade, Bianca, definitely a dream match for some out there. And a matchup I would be interested in seeing as well. Jade, in her WWE debut, not only going to be a part of the Rumble, but got to make her have an impact too. I don't see, I'm going to spoil it right now, sorry. I'm not really, I don't really see Jade winning the Royal Rumble in real life. I know some people have thrown that out there, but, you know, I still do expect her to be in and and probably, you know, make an impact in the matchup. So, my case uh, in this would be Jade eliminating Bianca Belair from the match. You know, Bianca, I think some people are looking at her as a, a uh, possible woman to challenge EO Sky once more for the gold at WrestleMania or even challenge Rhea Ripley. I'm down for the Rhea match if it happens. I really don't want to see her in EO Sky again. Not that it wouldn't be great, but like we've been there, done that. Um, and, and I just don't really see this being the year for Bianca winning the Rumble. So you know what? Coming at number one, be one of the Iron Women of the match. But again, I'm going to go uh, having Jade make an impact. So Jade Cargill eliminates Bianca Belair from the Royal Rumble matchup, eliminating one of the main eventers of the division. Certainly something that's going to be talked about for Jade Cargill's debut. Uh, in a number number, excuse me, in a number 28, we have the other half of the tag team champions, Caden Carter, uh, in at number 29, Indy Hartwell. So pretty tag team heavy in the ring right now. We have Damage Control, Liv and Raquel, Candice and Indy, and then of course the champs in uh, Caden Carter and Katana Chance, and then uh, they're all in the ring. Damage control, of course, even though Jade has entered, they're still pretty much controlling the pace of the action in the ring, as we mentioned. They would. Asuka, Kyrie, Bailey, standing tall. You know, they're laying out everybody. All the teams we mentioned, the tag champs, Jade's down for the moment. Becky Lynch is down for the moment. Whatever it's going to be. Asuka, Kyrie, Bailey, really soaking in the pageantry of the Rumble as they just, damage control just is ruling their iron fist. And at number 30, you all know where we're going from here because she's in the thumbnail. The return of the boss, Sasha Banks, entering the match last at number 30. I said it in the last video, I'll say it again. Number 30 is for one of two things. Either a return, I guess maybe a debut as well. Return slash debut or somebody who's guaranteed to get one of the biggest pops of the night. One of your top baby faces, like a Becky Lynch in this case or whoever else. That's why I had LA Knight come in at number 30 in the men's version. Just if you're not going to, like, don't send a heel out there. So many people don't really care about at number 30. Number 30 is for a big, loud, uh, you know, top baby face to get a big pop or a return or debut. That's just how I feel. Nonetheless, Sasha Banks in making her return at number 30. I'll, I'll, let me just, one more disclaimer. Even if Sasha's not in the Rumble... I do believe she will be back in the WWE in 2024, even if it's not till after WrestleMania. Some people speculated Sasha might go do a couple months in TNA, mix it up with Trinity. We'll get Mercedes Monet for a couple more months, uh, you know, around the uh, wrestling world. That's a possibility, but I still think she goes back to WWE after that. But I'm just going to fantasy book here for the fun. Sasha returning to the WWE in the Royal Rumble match. So Sasha Banks in at number 30, obviously the action entirely going to completely stop in the ring and Bailey specifically is going to be in complete shock. You know, damage control was just ruling the ring and now Bailey gets this curveball as Sasha Banks returns and enters the match. Sasha going to enter the ring, have a standoff with damage control. Everything's pretty serious for the moment. And then Sasha's just going to smile and extend a hug to Bailey. Be like, whoa, 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 what'd you think we're going to fight? We're best friends. I'm on your side. Bailey's kind of nervousness breaks. She she relaxes. Even Asuka and Kyrie are like, okay, like not really sure how to take it. Uh, Bailey smiles, hugs Sasha. We get a nice little moment between uh, Bailey and Sasha right there, all their history. And then Sasha breaks the hug, grabs Bailey, and eliminates her from the Royal Rumble matchup. Bailey not winning. The Rumble, which is, she has been a top candidate. You know, you guys have heard me say countless times, I do think Bailey winning the Rumble 
is a possibility, and I still do think so. Don't get me wrong, just because this is how I fantasy booked it doesn't mean it doesn't have a chance at happening, but uh, this is just how I decided to go about things. Sasha Banks going to eliminate Bailey because uh, it just fits right in to where we're going at WrestleMania 40 in the next video, the next fantasy booking for the WrestleMania 40 match card. So after Bailey has been eliminated, of course, the action going to ensue once more from there. Left in the Royal Rumble, we have Raquel Rodriguez, Kyrie Sane, Becky Lynch, Asuka, Liv Morgan, Candice LeRae, Katana Chance, Jade Cargill, Caden Carter, Indy Hartwell, and of course, again, Sasha Banks. Asuka and Kyrie Sane are going to eliminate Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, as well as the women's tag team champions, Katana Chance and Caden Carter. I do expect the Kabuki Warriors to be after the women's tag team championships in the near future. Whether it's it, it might be at the Royal Rumble, most likely not. It might be after, but expect Asuka and Kyrie to uh, have those gold, have those championships, the, those pieces of gold around them in the near future. I would uh, definitely expect that. Raquel and Liv going to team up, and they are going to target damage control and they are going to get the best of Asuka and Kyrie. Liv and Raquel, who eliminates who, doesn't really matter. Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan eliminate Asuka and Kyrie Sane from the Royal Rumble match. Damage control completely gone from the 30-woman battle royal. Liv and Raquel going to celebrate that small victory. But, as you all know, the Royal Rumble, it's friend versus friend. It's foe versus foe. And at the end of the day, everybody's fighting for the same end goal. Liv Morgan eliminates Raquel Rodriguez from the Royal Rumble matchup. A little sneak up from behind, dumps her out, and Raquel is left at ringside a little shocked. little like, okay, you got me. And a little not sure what to think as one of her best friends, Liv Morgan, just dumped her out. And somebody who she's basically been teaming up with in this match since number 23 and Liv made her return. So Liv Morgan wants the end goal. She eliminates Raquel Rodriguez from this match. Leaving us with the final four in the Women's Royal Rumble for 2024. Becky Lynch, who came in at number 15. Liv Morgan, who came in at number 23. Jade Cargill, who made her debut at number 27. And Sasha Banks, who made her return at number 30. And here's even more where I think if you're familiar with my channel, you might be surprised at the route I took. Jade Cargill going to eliminate Liv Morgan and Sasha Banks. Both from the matchup, Liv Morgan, a, a, a woman who I do think has a great chance at winning. I think she's in like the top probably three or four names you could pick to win this match come next month. Uh, in this fantasy booking, Jade's throwing her out. And she's also going to throw out the returning Sasha Banks. You got to put the heat on somebody. I said this in my men's video, you know, with Cody getting eliminated. You got to put the heat on somebody. I put it on Gunther. In this case, let's put the heat on Jade Cargill. And then, of course, that leaves us, leaves us, excuse me, with our final two, where Becky Lynch eliminates Jade Cargill to win her second women's Royal Rumble matchup. And I, listen, I'm not a big two-time winner with women's Royal Rumble match, or I should just Royal Rumble matches in general. I'm not a big repeat winner. You know, it's a match that only happens once a year with uh, with the Royal Rumble, and I like new people winning. However, again, everything that has happened in this video and the men's Rumble. Uh, fantasy, fantasy booking video all tying into my fantasy booking Wrestlemania 40 video which will now truly be the next video on the channel and in order to do that one of two options had to happen and the option I chose that just kind of made more sense less loopholes if you will and I can't explain and elaborate too much on that because I want to save that for the Wrestlemania 40 video but it just made more sense for Becky to win the Royal Rumble matchup. So that is where we're going. That is how I would book the Women's Royal Rumble next month. Uh, number one to number 30. Everyone in between. All the eliminations. Final four. Final two. And ultimately the final one standing. Winning the 2024 Royal Rumble. Becky Lynch. Let's jump over to the other side of the desk. And let's wrap up this video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my fantasy booking for the Women's Rumble next month. Very much looking forward to this show. My favorite show of the year. My favorite match of the year. Royal Rumble, always a ton of fun. So I can't wait to see what's actually going to happen in real life next month. And also, uh, you know, the way, talking about women's wrestling sometimes brings out some, uh, some real... Some real, you know, basement freaking people into the comments. So uh, if, if your favorite women's wrestler 
didn't go over in this fantasy booking uh just leave your comments to yourself you freaking weirdos but besides that if you want to have an actual conversation feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments and now that we've gone through this bonus video if you will truly the next video will be fantasy booking wrestlemania 40 both night one and night two exactly how would have the cards play out but until next time guys go follow me across all social medias at no nation vlogs leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Thank you.